Wells Fargo in this motherfucker. Formerly known as KC the Red Pill Life, or you can call me that. Either one on my. You dig? If you wanna smash her, fellas, you wanna fuck her, if you wanna put it down, then you gotta let her know. You gotta tell her up front. You can't procrastinate. You can't wait. You can't try to hold time and hold, hold position thinking of that. you have a special time and moment to tell her and it'll go down the way you want to tell her because you was such a gentleman. You was such a nice man to let her know later on when she'd have got seven or eight dates up out of you. Four or five events. A couple of traveling sprees. Shopping sprees and everything. You did. And then you let her know as if it's gonna happen when you want it to happen. Like you running shit. When you already put it in the front seat for her to run shit. I mean, the driver's seat to be exact. But we're gonna get off into that. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm driving, so I can't do the intro. Go join the Patreon, fellas. Get on that seven day free trial, which includes my five and $10 tier. Get at me on Rumble. KC the Red Pill out for debunker. That name ain't changed. Download the Rumble app and join, fellas. Go over there and holler at me on Rumble. I got videos and shit that you can't that I haven't never done on YouTube and you can't even get on YouTube. So, you know, due to YouTube policies and shit. And you know, we abide by the rules. You dig? <laughs> video for education purposes only fair use on like share and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be alerted on my videos go to the description in my about section you'll see my number there for consultations video topics your choice and whatever we need to talk about and discuss to better you fellas holla at me you know what time it is the paypal and the cash app links are there so support the show more time in this fellas. Let's get it going. You procrastinate. You figuring that if you do wait, thing, things are pan out the way you want them to pan out. Once again, because you such a gentleman, right? Wrong. A woman knows her true nature. Just like she knows yours. And, you know, we're not equating women to animals and things of that nature. I don't do all that, you know. I don't fuck around like that. So I don't want no guys or no women coming to here. What are you trying to say? We animals and things? No, 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 not at all. But women pay attention to the to their six senses and their senses and things of that sort. And the true nature and the essence of man and woman. Women know that more than man. Animals and, um, you know, reptiles and things, all that type of shit. They know that just as well. You know, just it's nature that we supposed to know too, but we don't pay attention to. Well, some though. I ain't. I'm, I'm gonna say, you know, we because I'm categorizing myself as, you know, with the rest of the guys. But I know the game. A lot of you guys don't. So that's where you left out at. Women know that you ain't supposed to be their fucking friend. Women know that you ain't supposed to be holding up just to wait to have sex with them and make things happen. They know they, they know you don't supposed to do that due to the nature. But you guys don't think that because every kiss begins with K. Every kiss begins with K and, you know, Valentine's Day and all this other shit. Is it a forefront? Of what you guys are thinking because it's societal things is what you see is what you engage in is what you've been taught up to traditionalize with your father uncles uncle grandfathers and you know men of your, of your you know that stood ground in your life right which strips the true nature of you being direct and letting her know what it is even though she wants to even though she will reject you she want to reject you or she may not reject you. That takes that away from you. 
because the way you were brought up and the things you see around and you feel like this is what you got to do because in your life and in a lot of guys you know lives you know this is how you guys got laid in life was actually I mean pandering tricking you know doing all that type of shit paying money uh, buying gifts and doing all these things this is what got you guys laid in life so you feel like this is what get you laid you normalize this type of shit when it's not it it'll never be it fellas what is it is you making things happen in a way to where she feels you to where she can cling on to what she's supposed to do with you and that's making shit happen sexually she knows that a man with game knows that that's why he ain't got a trick he ain't got to buy all this shit to make shit happen and shit goes down with him not with you guys because you follow the traditional society rules of doing the opposite you know of what you're supposed to be doing and plus a lot of you guys don't want to scare her off and have her shame you into, you know, thinking that you're wrong for asking for what you want. You don't want her to see you some kind of way. You don't want to lose her. So you'd be scared to come at her direct. You need to shake that shit. Or you're not going to experience what it is getting on women without you tricking, without you buying shit, without you taking her out to dates and doing all that other shit. Come on, man. You never experience it. So, get on board, fellas. I'll be a statistic to these guys that's running around saying that you, you got to do these things to get a baddie. And no, you don't. If the so-called baddie acting as if she ain't trying to comply with what I'm offering the bitch, then that so-called baddie can get the hell up out of here. And guess what? That leaves the door open for the rest of them, right? Yeah. And not only that, you own, you train yourself into taking rejections, into um, letting the shit bounce off like repellents, because the shit really ain't shit. I think somebody somebody said re rejections don't exist for real. It's all in your mind. A person isn't a woman is entitled, you know, to say no. Who said? Steve the Dean said that. And shouts out to Steve the Dean because that was real. She's entitled to say no, fellas. So you let that shit bounce off of you like pellets. Eat that shit up like Scooby Snacks like it ain't nothing. And get on to the next bitch, you dig? Like, share, and subscribe and come fuck with me, man. And remember, go join me on the Rumble. Get at me. On, I mean, uh, hit me up on the Cash App. PayPal and get at me in the Patreon fellas. Join that seven day free trial which includes hundreds of fucking videos that's nowhere near on YouTube and I you know I'm totally different over there on Patreon man. I'm telling you straight up game related videos. Go fuck with it. Seven day free trial five or ten dollar tier. Holla.